Hey guys, Joshua here, and today I'm going to introduce you to a new app for Shopify named Quick Creator. Let's get into it. The first thing that I'm going to teach you is how to add it to your Shopify store right now. You just click on the link on the description below, click on add app right here, or you can also manually type the link. I'm going to put it right here in the video. After that, you can just look up Quick Creator here on the apps. Click on this one. Then you're going to be transported to this page right here where you're going to be choosing if you want to create a landing page or a blog page. So since we're going to be adding a product from our store, we're going to be clicking blog page. Now, as you can see here, here are a few new features actually. So here's the freestyle where you can enter any type of content in which you can generate it from. There's the article type, which you can generate by using an article from a chosen template from keywords, which allows you to generate a blog page using keywords that you've chosen for yourself. And last but not least, it's the from Shopify product. Now, since the cool jewelry store is already linked to quick creator, that means that we can just click this here. I'm just going to open the products right here in my Shopify store. As you can see here, a bunch of accessories and jewelry, right? Just click on select product and it's going to show the list of products that you currently have in your Shopify store that you can use to create a blog post about it. So let's choose the silver natural diopside pendant. You just click on here and then click on select product. After selecting the product, you can actually choose to write your own keywords. So my keywords would be jewelry, accessory, and pendants. We click on generate blog details after that. Now that we're here in the blog details, you can of course change the product description to your liking. Like this, I can edit the last sentence out like so. Over here at the main point of the blog, I can also add something like this. Where it comes from and how the diopside gemstones are extracted. You can change the blog word count. So for me, like 1,500 is far too much. So I'm just gonna put it at 500 to 800. Now, this is one of the most important parts, the audiences. Of course, it's gonna be the jewelry enthusiasts and fashion conscious individuals. Reading level would be general, tone is friendly, formality is neutral. And since I'm already satisfied with that, I just click on generate title and description. Now we're going to be transported to the TDK which shows you the title, the description, and the keywords used. Take note that this would how it would appear if you were to look it up on Google search rankings. And also keep in mind that it's already SEO optimized itself. So if you want to edit it, you can always click on this right here at, at the top right. And then add a couple of sentences that you would like. For me, I'm already satisfied with it, so I'll just click on save. Once you're done, you just click on generate outline. Right here in the outline, you can always rearrange the outline itself. For example, I want the styling dependent outline to be right here. I can always add an outline like this. Best outfits for the pendant. Click on generate talking points. On the screen right here, you're going to be greeted with an introduction for your product the origin and extraction of the product itself, how to style the product, and of course, the conclusion, which is the best outfits for it. Click on generate article if you're already satisfied and you can always go back if you're not. Okay, after waiting for a while, as you can see, the article is fully made with a picture of the pen itself, the introduction, as well as a buy now section here wherein customers can click in order for them to be redirected to your store for them to buy it. You just scroll down here. As you can see, the origin right there, styling dependent here, and best outfits as I said earlier. Now, if you think that it's too much or too long, you can always delete a couple of paragraphs like this. I'm gonna modify this one. And then modify this one as well. So, once I'm already happy with it, you just click on publish right here so it's gonna be saved to your Shopify store in an instant. Click on this. Wait for it to publish. Once it's published successfully, you can click on visit site to see how it would look like. From the cool jewelry store's website itself, you just scroll down here to sort of get a better look and feel for the article that you've made. You click on buy now and it's gonna redirect it to the cart. People can now check out your product 
in an instant using the blog post that you've made. Just remember guys, Quick Creator is here for your Shopify store needs and for your business ventures. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys try out Quick Creator's successful integration with Shopify.